A super common failure on these LR2s is this engine mount bracket right here. And I got another one that I picked up online for around 20 bucks. And this is one of the easiest repairs that you can make as a do-it-yourselfer. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. We're going to start off by pulling the engine cover and getting it out of the way. The engine cover literally lifts off of the engine. It's held in place by these little stakes that push into rubber bushings on the cover and they hold it in place. This reservoir, which holds the overflow for the engine coolant, is going to be in the way because we're going to need to back out this bolt as well as this bolt. And this bolt is pretty long, so we're going to start by removing this coolant reservoir. Right up here is our ever elusive 10 millimeter socket and we'll pull it off first. Set that somewhere for safekeeping. There is an apparent clip back here toward the back. It's hard to show you the exact location of that clip on camera, but here on the side of the reservoir, you can see the little slot that it slides into, and that should help you locate it when you're trying to find it on your own. And this should lift straight off of the clip, and you may have to push it to one side or the other to get it to come out, but it should lift out otherwise. And we don't have to take it all the way out, we just need it out of the way. Now I'm going to remove this first bolt with a 15 millimeter wrench. Ooh, I'm going to try to. Ah, oh, there she goes. By the way, Land Rover, it would have been really helpful if this thing threaded in from the other side where there's nothing in the way. Just kind of maybe take that back to your engineering department. And we should be able to just slide this bolt past this overflow reservoir. And there we have it. And now we'll move the reservoir again and we'll do the same thing on this side. Oh, that one was a whole lot easier. And now that one's out. And at this point, the mount should just lift right out and you can see where this one had completely failed. And we're gonna go ahead, I could almost probably pull that out by hand. Um, so in any case, we're just gonna go ahead and put the new one in just the same way that the old one came off. And I'm not tightening this bolt at this point, I'm just putting it in there by hand, just enough so that I can sway this one down and get the next bolt started. Oh, go baby, go. There we go. So what you can't see on camera is that I'm pushing pressure on the bolt this direction while simultaneously pulling up and down on this piece here in order to get the alignment of the hole correct. And eventually it just slipped on through and now I'm ready to start threading it into the threads. Back to our 15 millimeter wrench. And it's threading in just like it's supposed to. Finally, I see the bolt beginning to come through on the other side. And that thing was in there pretty tight. So I really crunk it down pretty hard myself. And now our overflow reservoir can go back where we pulled it from. You just need to make sure that you hit that retaining clip. Uh, there we go. And our 10 millimeter bolt. And that takes care of that. And now back to the 15 millimeter wrench and I'll finish tightening this side. And that is going to be a job complete. These are a super common failure, but they're also pretty easy and inexpensive to repair. Anybody who has about 10 minutes, a 15 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter wrench should be able to get this done. If this video helped you change out your engine mount, let me know in the comments, and of course, a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe are always appreciated. And until next time, this is Jason with Born Handy. Woo!